Good morning kids, I'm teacher Lance and I'll be your teacher for today and for the rest of the semester. Today we're going to study mathematics and we're going to do the skill advancement activity. So let's begin with page 48. So I want you to get your book and open it to page 48. Look at the picture and find the answer, okay? Look at the picture and find the answer. So teacher Lance will show you a picture of a pizza and then there's a question below that, okay? So this is it. We're going to read the problem first. Alright. Maria orders a pan pizza for her children and their cousins. If each kid gets a slice of pizza, she shares the pizza to blank kids. So how many kids were given a share of pizza? So if this is the pizza pan, alright, how many slices are there? Let's count it. Okay, let's begin from here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight slices of pizza. Therefore, eight kids were given a slice of pizza. So we're going to write eight on the line, okay? We're going to write eight. Next question or next activity, we're going to page 48. And we're going to color the pictures using the information given. So there are instructions about what to color the puppies in here. And we're just going to follow them, okay? Okay, let's read the instructions. Start from the puppy on the left. Start from the puppy on the left. So this is the puppy on the leftmost part. So we're going to begin with it okay the first instruction is color the second puppy brown so if this is the first puppy this is the second puppy and we're going to color it with brown so how will it look like so it's going to be like this okay teacher Lance colored it with brown so this is how it looks like number two Color the last puppy black. Color the last puppy black. So first, second, third, fourth. This is the fourth puppy and this is the last of them. Therefore, we're going to color it with black. And this is how it will look like. Alright. Okay, it's still cute, right? Number three. Draw black spots on the first puppy. Draw black spots on the first puppy. So this is the first puppy. We're going to color it with black spots. We're going to put black spots on it. And this is how it will look like. Alright, it will look like this. So cute, right? Number four. Color the ears and tail of the third puppy red so we're going to look only at the ears and tails and color it with red okay so this is how it will look like all right okay you can pause this video if you're not yet done with coloring the puppies and then after that we're going to continue all right so now we're going to self-evaluation Self-evaluation. For the first activity for self-evaluation, I want you to open your book to page 49. Open your book to page 49. Here we're going to fill in the gaps or we're going to fill in the blanks. Number one, how many long guns are there in this bunch? How many long guns are there in this bunch? So we're going to count the long guns. Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
there are nine dongan, so we're going to answer nine. Okay? All right. Very good. Question number two. How many colors are there in Thailand flag? How many colors are there in Thailand flag? So, so let's count the colors. We have red, white, and blue. One, two, three. There are three colors in Thailand flag. So we're going to write three, okay? Alright, now we can go to number three. Number three. I live in 9 Cleveland. Write my address as a word. So let's write 9 as a word. So it will look like this. N-I-N-E. 9. Alright. Number 4. Write the missing number. We're going to write the missing number. Okay, if we group 8 into 2 smaller groups, what will it be? So we have already the first number, which is 2. So what should be paired with 2 to make it 8? Alright, so what is it? Let's do like this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and then we're going to count the fingers that we put up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, we have 6. So we're going to write 6 on the circle. Okay? Very good. Next number, we have 6 and 6. Alright, so what is it? How do we group 6 into two smaller groups? If the given group is 6. Okay, so what is the other group or the other number? Okay, it should be 0 because it is 6 on the other part. Okay, 0 and 6 makes a group of 6. Next number, we have 6 and 3. 6 and 3. Okay, if we combine a group of 6 and a group of 3, how many is it okay six and three so let's count six seven eight nine it is nine so we're going to write nine on the circle okay good job next three and five so what is it what do you think kids all right it is eight next compare the numbers Write greater than, smaller than, or equal to. Here we're going to compare the numbers that are given and we're going to write greater than, smaller than, or equal to. We have the first given 3 and 8. So what are we going to do in here? Is it greater than, smaller than, or equal to? Okay, 3 is blank 8. What do you think? Very good. 3 is smaller than 8 because 3 is less than 8. Alright, number 2. 9 is blank 7. 9 blank 7. Is it greater than, smaller than, or equal to? What do you think? Okay, it's going to be is greater than. 9 is greater than 7 because 9 is bigger than 7. Okay? Alright, now let's go to number 3. Number 3. 6 blank 6. 6 blank 6. So what is it going to be? Is it going to be greater than, smaller than, or equal to? So what is it? Okay, the answer is equal to. 6 is equal to 6. Because they are the same number, they are equal with each other. For the next part, we are going to answer or we're going to solve a problem, okay? Here we have Martha is 7 years old, Muhammad is 9 years old, Maryam is 4 years old, and Matthew is 6 years old. 
So number one, we should arrange their age in descending order. So what is descending order? It is from the biggest number to the smallest number, okay? So we're going to write first which is the biggest number, okay? Which is the biggest number in here? We have 7, 9, 4, or 6. Okay, which is the biggest? Alright, the biggest is 9. Muhammad is the oldest of them. Next number, which is the next biggest number? We have 7, which is Martha. Martha is 7 years old. Next, what number is next? We have 6 and then followed by 4 because 4 is the smallest number. So this is how we arrange the numbers in descending order. Number 2. Write the name of the child who is older than 4 but younger than 7. Okay, the child that is younger than 7 but older than 4. Who is that child? Okay, it is Matthew because Matthew is 6 years old and 6 is older than 4 but younger than 7. Okay, it is Matthew. Alright, we're going now to the challenge part. Okay, we're going to page 51. Okay, what you're going to do is draw a picture of yourself. Okay, draw a picture of yourself and then color it and answer the questions. Okay, draw yourself, color it, and answer the questions. Alright? Okay, so let's begin. If you're a boy, you're going to draw like this. Okay, you can... You can use this as a reference but also you can have your own version if you're a girl you can use this as a reference okay you can just pause this video and draw this picture okay all right these are the information that you have to fill in okay we have my name is blank i am blank years old my parents have blank children I am blank. There are blank people in my family. Parts of my body that have two sides are my blank. Okay? So, we have a lot of blanks. Okay, we have my name is, for example, I gave here Ollie Connor. Okay, this is just an example name. But you should write your own name in here, okay? My name is Ollie Connor. I am 7 years old. You're going to write 7 or 6 or whatever your age is, okay? I am 7 years old. My parents have blank children. For example, your parents have 3 children. So you're going to write 3, okay? My parents have 3 children. I am... Okay, and then you're going to write what is your order in the family. In your siblings okay for example I am their second child okay you're going to write I am their first child I am their second child I'm their third child or etc okay next there are blank people in my family okay, you're going to count you your siblings and your parents okay you're going to count them all and then for example you have Five. Okay, there are five people in my family. And then you're going to write the parts of your body that has two sides. Okay, what are the parts of your body that has two sides? For example, the eyes. We have two eyes. Um, the ears. We also have two ears. Next are the arms. We have two arms. Next are the hands. We have two hands. We have the feet. We have two feet. And lastly, we have two legs. Okay, so that is for the parts of the body that has two sides. Okay, so that's it for today. Today, we had our activities for skill advancement activities. 
the challenge, and self-evaluation. I hope that you enjoyed these activities and also I hope that you learned something from Teacher Lens today. That's all and God bless. Bye-bye. Happy learning.